welcome to the World Cup Project. My name's Carrie. if you're new here. This channel is namely about doing the low FODMAP diet for IBS. And today I've got a recipe for you that I'm really excited about. It is a low FODMAP take on a chickpea and pumpkin curry, which is quite often difficult to make low FODMAP. These kind of green tinted ones, which have really bright orange insides, are low FODMAP. Monash calls them like a Japanese pumpkin or a kombucha pumpkin. Uh, yeah, kabocha. I'm probably saying that wrong. But basically FODMAPs weren't detected in this, so you can use as much as you like. Um, it's a really good substitute for things like sweet potato in recipes as well. So it's in season, I think, at the moment, judging by the fact it's in the shops. Um, but it's kind of worth cutting up bits and freezing it for when it's not, because it is really useful being FODMAP free. So let's get on with the recipe. We're going to start with arguably the worst task, and that is preparing the pumpkin. So just using half for now, we're going to scoop out the inside with the seeds, chop off the skins, and then cut into bite-sized pieces like this. Then we're also going to prep the spring onion, so just taking the really dark green sections at the top, because of any dodgy bits, and you can actually use the leftovers in water and they will grow back. And then chop up those dark greens, our kind of onion substitute, hold that free. And then take a really big chunk of ginger, so about three, four inches, peel, finely chop, and then moving over to a large pan, we're going to melt some coconut oil and add that ginger and spring onion. And this is our really flavorful base for the curry. After sweating it down, we're also going to prep some coriander. I'm actually going to use the stalks, because you can use the whole plant, and they're full of flavor too. So just finely chop those up and then add them to the curry. We're also going to add 10 curry leaves, a teaspoon of turmeric and then a little pinch of cinnamon and just cook that through and it should start to smell really lovely at this point. I'm also going to add some lemongrass, these ones look a bit dry so if you had some nice fresh ones I would go for that instead and then add in your pumpkin. I'm also going to add a little bit of asafoetida and one cup of chopped tomatoes along with another cup of water. We're going to then add a pinch of salt Stir it through, pop the lid on and leave for about 25 minutes, at which point we're going to chop up some chard, which is basically FODMAP free, and add it in. We're also going to add one cup of chickpeas, which have been canned. That leaves um, about a quarter cup each if you're splitting it between four portions, which is the plan for this recipe. We're also going to add a half a cup of creamed coconut, or coconut cream, which makes it really lovely and creamy, and just stir that through. Um, let it simmer for about 10 minutes and then serve with rice. I'm using brown rice here. And because so much of this recipe is made with really low FODMAP food, you can have a really big portion and it's still low FODMAP, which is great. I'm adding some chilli here for really aesthetics, so be careful if it upsets your tummy. Add a good squeeze of lime and some coriander and tuck in. Hey, just squeezing this video in here because I couldn't work out where else to put it. Um, I have a little announcement. Very recently, I received an unconditional offer to study um, to do a master's in dietetics. So, in about two-ish years, I will be a registered dietitian. Ah, so exciting! Um, and yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to anyone who's ever supported um, this channel in any way. Um, I think because ultimately, I think that's what's made it possible. And I'm so excited, and I'm going to share everything I'm learning with you. And um, yeah, thank you. Hope you like the curry. If you want to give it a go, I've written up the recipe on my website and I've linked it in the description down below. Um, but yeah, let me know if you do give it a go and you like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!